Gap in the room. Y'all got to find that nigga who energy change. Yeah. Right there. Yes, <laughs> niggas don't, <laughs> niggas don't want them down. Straight up. But, but how you going to tell me I don't know a nigga from your hood, bro? You don't know me. So just sign the name. Yeah, you sign the name. Nigga not from the name. Shit, LaBretta. Shit, sign it. That nigga ain't from the name. Well, he ain't shit, LaBretta. That's worth it. And you see using the full synthetic hole in it? What a nigga from the night. I know, I know, major. Yeah, the the man. 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 Right, oh, right. Yeah, right Bubba Lane, you on stage. There, there you go. go. He on stage. Now. Now. Bubba Lane, you on stage. Mike Jones on stage. Now say what you had to say about him. Fuck you, Mike Jones. The fuck y'all thought I was gonna say, nigga? You ain't got a million dollars. Turn your mic. There is a clown. What you say that? Hey, he pumped up his chest to say that shit. Fuck, I don't know who y'all thought. I was trying to find a nigga. Say the fuck. I don't know who you is, nigga, but it's fuck you, nigga. The fuck? Hey, the fuck who is this clown? Only niggas get y'all access to say something. That's why y'all niggas tripping. Like, y'all like, brought a nigga up and then said a nigga said something because they got y'all niggas like opening y'all damn mouth. Goofy, y'all. <laughs> Imagine y'all went found a nigga to bring him on here. To niggas tell him, niggas want attention. That's, that's your crazy son. Hey, say the hallelujah, bro. Say, say the hallelujah, bro. The nigga, the nigga went and followed me, bro. The nigga went and followed me and pinged me, son. Say, that's, you Ooh. gotta understand it's still the internet game, so they're trying to Big get Big Memphis look fat, panda bear looking ass, no, brother. Nigga, and I don't know how long you with this. Hey, 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 Boy, y'all niggas oh, got a lot to say. Hey, Mike Jones, you got to drop a sex tape when you drop a big tape, bitch. Y'all niggas, hey, niggas got a lot to say in the metaverse, boy. Because you brought that nigga on. That nigga just, just, that nigga, that just, that nigga just came and told a whole lot. I didn't follow the nigga, nor did I beat the nigga. The nigga came and told a whole fucking lot. Hold on, Mike on the top. Let Mike talk. Let Mike talk. Let Mike talk. Let Mike talk. Mike Jones, man. I'm trying to understand one thing, right? So look, one minute, and I agree with one side, we don't care about nobody money, because everybody got their own money, anybody exactly. can buy, anybody so why would bring you in? But why, but why bring my name up, though? Why bring my name up if you don't even know what my bread looking like, though? Because if I start getting disrespectful, then it's going to go disrespectful, so Disrespectful, nigga, I don't give up? a fuck, nigga, this shit. No, but no, 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 You didn't let them know. Check out, check out. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my, one my, my. Ain't no one mind on my job. Ain't nobody being disrespectful, so relax. I'm just saying, why is my name being used as an air tag to be used in a money conversation? Train say, love. Money train love. Money train love ain't said shit about my You job, ain't here nigga. because of money you train be. love. Nigga, so the don't lie, whack, nigga. Don't you, lie. Whack 100 was so, in here, nigga. You ain't got the same of Money train love. Why the fuck would we be saying about Mike Jones? Mike Jones, nigga. That you bitch tried to make Jones up. I'm telling you, fuck, call you, you that. Kind of that like, like, look, it, Mike, that female tried to make you back relevant. That's what you tried to do a job. She tried to do a job, bro. Honestly. We not even tried to do a job. Whack 100 was on the stage. She tried to get a job. Shut the fuck up. I'll stay on the what you talking about? Hey, she on, need a raise, Mike. Like, bro. Niggas, you hey, I don't even care about getting back in the game and getting famous, bro. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, bro. I don't even care about getting back relevancy in the game and all that, bro. So my question is, what is the definition of broke? What's the definition of broke? Like, what is the definition of broke? Are we going on tax returns? Like, what we looking at? Like, what what's the definition of broke? Like, hey. I don't care about getting back. Y'all niggas made white believe. I'm out. That's too much for him. No, no, I'm just saying, what's the definition of broke, though? Because Cause these niggas want to argue with that man about the same shit about who he fuck with. Six, nine, six, six, six. I'm, I'm trying, trying to see what is the definition of broke, though. It's the same niggas in here arguing about the same shit with that man. What is the definition of broke, though? Is the definition broke? You can't go get a million dollars. You can't go get a million dollars. Man, Mike Jones, fuck that nigga, man. He ain't got. He ain't talking about nothing, Mike Jones. Fuck that nigga. I'm stretching so much without that nigga. That nigga ain't even in your bracket, so. 
I ain't even going there. I ain't even being negative. I just want to understand, A, what is the definition of broken? B, why do a person use not only my name or anybody's name when they want to think to say that a person broke before that person? Man, bro. Yo, understand. listen here, bro. He used to be like the broke like you being on the app talking about a nigga hey, look, look, hold up, hold up, hold up. Speech. It seems like you got post trauma on this situation, bro, on, on this so subject, is. Mike. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it out for you. I'm going to go ahead and lay it out for you, bro, because it seems like this situation is a little touchy for you. Nigga. First, let them know you pocket no, money, nigga. Hey, I, I, look. I, I, I do this. I do this. Do Get this, your ass Why y'all doing that? Just PTR, bro. Like, that's, that's some chase, bro. It just got the day going on. Why y'all playing with this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why y'all doing that? Just PTR, bro. Like, that's, that's some chase, bro. It got the day's date on it. Why y'all, why y'all doing all that pocket watching? That's some chase, my nigga. It got current dates on it. I don't understand why there be no need to be lying about no bread, bro. Like, I never did nothing for fame. I never did nothing for clout. Y'all don't see me out nobody's face. You don't see me trying to do nothing, trying to get nowhere famous. I'm so chilling, my nigga. I did what I did you wind up in this room? So I don't, I, I don't, because somebody brought me in here trying to say that my jaw is broken. I'm like, why y'all keep throwing my Where you got that from? Who you heard here. say that? So no, that ain't the nah, bubba, that nigga bubba said that boy, shit, boy, nigga. Boy, that nigga boy, said he stand on that shit, boy, nigga. Sell me a band, I don't care. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna hey, 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 wanna Mike, burn, hey, hey, I don't even do boy, that. Boy, shut I the fuck up, trying to explain. Cause you about to lie, and I'm about to get on your ass if you try. Look, she gonna over talk about trying to run the bread. I don't even do that. 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 I don't even do I respect all niggas in here, and I don't judge nobody by their bread size, bro. So that's why. Bro, I talk to your fucking manager. Name your they fucking manager. Say, man, watch your mouth, old puss ass nigga. Thanks. That's to the goose. So I said that, nigga. Hey, fuck you, nigga. Get up. Then look, then look, look, look. Mark ass nigga. Send me the back channel, bro. I keep the name up. Fuck you and your back channel, cuz. You ain't talking about shit. You just bumping on the app, nigga. Since y'all want to be education on me, if you look at the PTR, they're posted. That's a Warner Brothers. That's so you will Warner Brothers pay me every six months. That shit going to be rotational for the rest of my life. If I never do a show ever again, zoom in and look at that shit. That shit say Tracy at Warner Music Group. That shit say how much they paying me every six months. That bitch got 2021, 2022 dates on it. What I did was 17 years ago, my nigga. So they still paying me every six months for what I did 17 years ago, my nigga. You think I'm worried about what somebody's saying? But I do hate that somebody mentioned my name when you don't understand what the hell going on. Yeah, I'm dealing with 8 million with the IRS. But just because I'm dealing with 8 million with the IRS that froze up, that don't mean I can't wiggle with that 400,000 that they slide in every year. Look at the proof, my nigga. What's the definition of broke? That's what I'm trying to understand. Now, let me see y'all cut up the the four hundred thousand, like y'all just cut up. Let me, the the nigga. Why you worried about my nigga pockets, old Mark ass nigga? Do I need to zoom in and, and let it be seen? The day the email, like what? What's the definition of bro? Man, Mike, you ain't even got to worry this. about them pocket watches, Mike Jones. Yeah, but, hey, but look, these broke ass nigga I eat do. cereal for I breakfast, do. lunch, and dinner. They want to talk shit. Hey, but look. Mike, this is coming from the same nigga that hopped on the out with three, four hundred people in a room that said he made one point five million off of street money. Right. This is right. capping like a hoe. Look, this word is kind of this word is PTR, man. PTR. Left. Look at that shit, dog. That shit say and, 2021. And, and, I ain't talking about 2005. Shit, I ain't trying to get back relevant. That shit say 2021, 2022. We in 2022, my nigga. They showing you what they sending every six months. Man, that bubble right land nigga, nigga lying like a lawyer. <laughs> that nigga came here and told two name. quick lies. So he made so one point million, million, million in the street. Like, nigga, what? That no, nigga ain't made no money in the street. Shit, bro. I don't understand that shit, bro. Well, but see, like, that, that's the thing, though, Mike. Niggas don't understand real, like, real money problems. When you dealing with real money... Nigga, it's ways around a lot of shit. Just because a nigga got a tax bill for eight million, don't mean he ain't got another eight sitting somewhere else. That, so, man, come on now, I ain't even no flexor, bro. I don't even do that because I respect all men. I don't, I don't, I don't never get in no situation to temper a nigga or whatever. I do my shit, I mind my business. But it's like, damn, what make you want to throw my name in something? What did I do? Cause niggas, chatty patty. See, I see yeah, the thing is, is like, bro, I, I, so I was, so I was, he no was, he was then, mad because. Yeah. He Go was ahead, mad because when Wack was on here talking about his businesses, he was trying to challenge Wack about his businesses. And then he came out and said he made 1.5 in the streets. 
I turned around and said, don't say that on the app, nigga, because the IRS could be listening. He said, oh, nigga, the, now this is where your name came in. Oh, Money Train Love, you trying to make Mike Jones relevant because that nigga broke. I said, nigga, Mike Jones making 500000 <laughs> sitting at home every year. He don't need to even come out with another record. Then Wax said, why are you bringing that nigga's name up when that nigga making millions? So I can't do up there. They got a lot of shit going on that I ain't here. See, I kind of... Oh, I heard every word of that, bro. I ain't no capping. I heard every word of that shit. I don't got that. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's how that shit went. It went just like that, bro. Niggas don't want to pick up on the But that's what the thing is, though, bro. That's what Bubba Land do. He do that shit every day. He come in this motherfucker and argue with niggas every day. See, I was trying to fuck with the nigga because he fuck with the room every day. So I brought him up, but he did get on some disrespectful shit. That ain't my career, dog. Like you just said, that's what he do. That's this ain't what I do, bro. I, I, I got a room we be in every year. Had a year called P Game Play Lane. We don't disrespect nobody. It's all 100. You learn shit. You go to a lawyer and pay for shit. You get the game for free from us. See, I, bro, I already hate. know. I was a stockbroker for seven around. years, man. I know how niggas with money play. I, I, I move money around for a lot of motherfuckers. I was a stockbroker for seven years, and I played in the NFL for three. So I know, I know what's up. Like I know how niggas can can move around, and it may look one way, or or we might have a bill over here for this. But see, they think like when a nigga file for bankruptcy, that that mean they broke or something. Now nah, that mean they getting rid of some motherfucking bills so they can keep nah, some paper yeah. somewhere else. See, I I know a lot of shit because I I dealt with a lot of that shit. That's the reason why I went into the stockbroker business is because a lot of my teammates and shit was was going broke after they got done playing football, and I wanted to make sure my niggas were straight. So, but see, like, when it comes to that money, shit, a, I understand a lot a, of this. It's shit. a bridge gap, though. It's a bridge gap. It's the percentage of who don't who understand it, like you and me and everybody else in the room, and then it's a percentage of it who don't know about it, who think they know about it, and want to disrespect the person who they think they don't know about it. Well, really, you know about it. That's, That's facts, bro. You show about it now. So wait, what you said? Now what you just said just now was a key point. Uh, the other people in the room who know about it, and they're gonna have people who say you don't know about it, but you do know about it. That's what you just said. <laughs> Nah, that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. So why is this? So why is this, Mike? I understood it. I understood it perfectly. But why is this? Come on. They got Come the on. same motherfuckers in the room right now. They 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 ain't gonna let you know that this bitch was just havoc. The nigga whack one hundred was in there, and there was a bunch of screaming and hollering. It, this bitch wasn't like this, just not. But we having the understanding, and we talking. Cause you know why, bro? Everybody want to argue with whack. Yo, quick cool question. Quick cool question. Quick cool question. Well, I mean, Wag ready for you. Like, I don't got time for it. Like, I'm, I, I'm here with what we doing. Like, Wag, he's ready. He's still talking. Yeah, he's still but you know, this the energy guy ain't global, but though, so they're going to keep their energy in here, bro. That's how it yeah, goes. Yeah. And it's like I said, bro. It's like I said, bro. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you got a problem with a nigga that ain't even speaking on you, don't know you or nothing, you got a problem with them yourself. That's the problem with our culture now, jealousy. And just because another nigga is not on BET, MTV, and all that shit no more, that don't mean he fell off and broke. I became a Clover G 15 years ago. Ain't no rapper showed me what Flip showed me. We supported Mike John. I'm from Tennessee. First round draft pitch coming way back then, bro. We talked about this shit yesterday when we was in the room. And y'all nigga want to come in here disrespecting somebody, bro. Y'all don't know how many times I done took off a Flip the same way Money Train took off a Mike John. This man just bought a, a double R SUV on his own and still doing shit for artists. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know who we know on here. So when y'all think y'all got money, y'all the only ones from the hood and all this old shit that know people, bro, it's people that's done balled out already don't even care about that. Niggas making investments for generations. Why not? Why not? You jumped in front of that shit for whack. Nigga wasn't talking to no other niggas. Nigga, Look, bro, right. there you go with that shit you again. Can't talk no street, bro, there you go with that shit no again. Like again. I told you, my nigga, I board. ain't jumping for the nothing away. I don't even know way. That man don't pay me. I don't know him from a can of court. Look, bro, this is what I'm telling you. As a black man, bro, from a business standpoint, the nigga that came in here that was talking all that shit, Bubba Land, he said the same shit about Mike Jones. I just said again, bro, I ain't going to keep repeating myself. 
I said, why is y'all speaking on niggas and they business? All y'all keep doing is coming at this man about six nine. Money train speak up. A nigga speak on her profile to see that she worked with Mike Jones. Then you take shots at Mike Jones. I told you when you were talking. That cut these Listen, niggas, bro, I told bro, you that cut these niggas be what? trolls, bro. I said, if you don't fuck with a nigga, then why are you arguing with him? That could these niggas be trolls, bro. Big Mip. Did I say anything about the nigga Black Oh, my. No, no, no. I ain't talking. Listen. Big, big so, so, like so listen, man. listen, bro. I think, I think. Listen, I think when it comes to that type of shit, man. When it comes to that type of shit, bro. Listen. Okay, what? I ain't What was you talking about? I gotta do one mic break. Yeah, you can't hear shit. Y'all niggas. Listen, bro. When it comes to that type of shit, niggas to the goo. You got two he different kind of niggas, man. You got you got niggas who really stand on their shit and who really who really like got an issue with certain shit that whack might do, and then you got niggas who just want attention. That bubble land nigga is a nigga that just want attention, man. Watch this. I asked that nigga why when the Muslims was on there, you ain't answered the question. You swung it on me. That was that's where we went left at. Is cool. every nigga that every nigga that got an issue with whack ain't looking for clout? You know what I'm saying? Some niggas really do got a problem with that shit, but I don't. I don't give a fuck about nigga what another good. nigga do. Nigga you know what I'm saying? That shit don't you don't mean nothing to me. You can't come tell him nothing about I mean, y'all like, been y'all been saying and asking the same shit for the last hour. Y'all been speaking on Mike Jones. He ain't here. Let him get his shit off. Man, on. ain't no nigga. The nigga who spoke on Mike Jones ain't here. What are you talking about? That yeah, that nothing. nigga's gone, man. That nigga, that nigga ain't in the room somewhere. no more. Hey, can yeah. I ask you? But look, how did you hear him the good to find out? I'm trying to find out who was going me when I was speaking, man. Hey, one mind. Let the mind ask Mike Jones a question while he up in this genre, man. Hey, hey, Mike Jones. Mike Jones, can I ask you a question? Mike. Mike Jones. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me hey, let me, let me say something. This hey, shit talking. Let me let me ask him a question real quick so we can change the mood of the stage. Uh, nah, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's let, let, let Slick go right quick. Go ahead, Slick. Oh no, nah, go ahead, Mike. Let him go ahead and ask you a question, Mike. My bad. Hey, I'm just nah, wondering, ahead, uh, do you got any like future projects that you ever thought about just like putting a you know song or do you, have you did any songs lately or whatever that you ain't released or whatnot man, mike got a whole bunch of songs online bro y'all gotta y'all gotta search that man music bro that man ain't never stopped doing what he doing man or nothing bro he's still active bro he's still getting paper and he's still in the game my nigga they can make a million See, dollars in the state this. of texas and don't have to leave this whole talking, what you right? talking about y'all hear slick talking y'all hear money train love talking like we had this room on Clubhouse for a whole year, where every time we come in the room, I mean, they're giving game, they're giving me game, we passing game to each other. It ain't no judging, it ain't no pocket watching, we check bullshit at the door. That's why we call it peak game and play lane. Cause when we over there, we really on some 100 shit. It's very rare you can find places where you can just chill, kick off your shoes and fucking relax your feet. So we had this club for a whole year. So Slick know what I'm about to drop. He know about the deal with BMG. He know what's supposed to go down. So does love. They Rock know about season. the IRS, everything that's going on. Same as Filthy Slim. Everybody that you see that's coming in, they've been a part of this for a whole year. So to some of y'all, it's like, oh, shit, he just came out the grave. But it's so funny to me. <laughs> it's so funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Because perception is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Slick. Yeah, man, that's that's real, man. That's, like, that's really what I wanted to say, bro. There's that, that, that a lot of people on perception. This dude, this, this dude, in a, this dude in a, in, a, in a, going on Google, looking up shit and trying to figure out what another man got going in his life, bro. You supposed to be worth a million dollars, bro. You, you can't be worth a million dollars. You ain't seen no money because you wouldn't be worried about what nobody else going through. Right, wouldn't be and watching shit, another nigga pockets. That's fact. That's fact. You would know. You would know what come with money. Say, you Mike, know what? Look with that construction, bro. And, and a nigga that's a kingpin drug dealer, bro. Look, the nigga gonna say. I could have made 1.5 off of selling T-shirts. Well, bro, that ain't what you said at first. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's a business owner is going to speak in business terms. You would say I made 1.5 million off of selling T-shirts. Is this Man. not for entertainment purposes? How you know Unless you wasn't selling dope? Man, hey, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. You, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know you my dog. Ain't no way around that shit, man. I'm not you know that, man. Hey, look, check this out. I'm not Ain't no way around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what I need y'all to do. The next time somebody tell y'all they made a million dollars, they got millions, they this, this, and this. If it's a dope dealer, okay, cool, because it's under the table. You, you live in the street life. But if it's a nigga who trying to play like he 
in corporate world and flexing. Okay, my nigga, how much is your taxes? How much he paid on taxes? Yeah, yeah. how much he I paid on that million dollars? I don't know what he He lying. He lying. And the truth ain't in him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and not only that, That's bro. All I asked him, and he yeah. got mad. <laughs> yeah, like, like, let's, keep it, let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a hundred, my nigga. Fucking percent. You, hey, look, it's the difference between saying I'm a businessman and I'm a street nigga. It's the difference between saying I got business money and I got street money. So why is y'all defending that nigga? Man, y'all went straight and said. Oh Lord, you didn't busted yourself. You were the feds, and I screamed. How but you hallelujah, hallelujah! I'm glad you did. Would you, would you, you incriminate himself? Okay, so he you never did clarify himself. Hallelujah. Want to go to jail, partner? I don't want would you come on this motherfucker? Would you come on this motherfucker and report how much you made? Why would you put yourself in the fire with another nigga that incriminated himself? Why you call it the fire when I'm telling you it could? So what? My would you do that the fire, though? Hallelujah. Okay, well, regardless of what you, you regardless of what you selling in the streets, would you come on here and say how much you made in the streets? Regardless of what you selling, would you say that? Would you say the same shit he said? What so you, you would. I'm me. He him, sir. But what I'm, I'm just saying. Is, Answer the question. You, you wouldn't do it for a reason, right? So no, I, don't, just say, don't defend that shit. That when that nigga was up here saying that shit, I'm here. I did me. say I'm, it. I'm me. Nah, nigga, you was backing that bullshit up. Yeah, I that's what I told you. You was backing that nigga, bro. And then you're going to say, you're going to tell crazy. niggas that they can't come to your hood, bro. I know mm. big niggas from Nightfall, bro. And, and it'll be the man, niggas that y'all won't put up on. <laughs> man, that only nigga profile, bro. You got knife wad on your shit, bro. New Orleans. Yeah, you gotta yeah, keep reading. Look, look bro. Look, keep bro. reading. You know look, how to read. Look, look bro. Look. Y'all just bro. Look. Keep it a hundred, money train. You man, somebody said night wall. You made this nigga, shit. Nigga, I ain't made this up man shit. Relevant, and don't bro. start on, that bro. shit bubbling. This shit ain't, this shit ain't I'm even. I'm going to slide your ass up. Hey, one you mind know, real quick. Know, one mind real you know, quick. You already know I'm a fucker. I'm a fucker. One mind. You and me, bro. One mind on Stain G, man. What's the definition of relevant? Hey, Mike John, still in his eye. Hey, yeah, I'm here. What's the definition of relevant? What's the definition of relevance? Like, Big Meat's been in jail, what, 15 years? If he got out tomorrow, would y'all still say he wasn't relevant? Or you gonna still show him love for what he did when he was out? Answer that fuck. Is, is Big Meat's relevant or he ain't relevant no more? My Mind nigga, I'm gonna say right? this, and this Mind ain't... This, right? This ain't on no fanboy shit or nothing like that, but Mike, you did shit in music that motherfuckers ain't never done. You'll always be relevant, my nigga. They would never do it. But they, but, they, but, but they quickly get on here and say that Money Train Love try to help me get back relevant. <laughs> hey, Mike. Exactly. Mike, like, uh, hey, Mike. They can make a million dollars in shit and not music. Hey, we ain't gonna talk about how many remixes done been done of the nigga's song over the past year. No, no, fuck that. Check this out. We can invite anybody in the audience on stage right now to tell you what Mike on the phone number is. Quit playing. Man, what? Hey, that what he plugged into me, though. I ain't gonna lie. 281330. Yeah, he plugged that shit into me. 800 Mike Jones up on the low. If I show y'all paperwork from Warner Brothers where they pay 50 bands per clearance, every time they clear still tipping, every time they clear back then, they pay 50 bands to clear. My nigga, I got emails. I got proof. Though, Mike. Like, that's the shit you don't see, though. That's the shit you don't even see. Look, though. Hey, look, look, though, Mike. Look, though, Mike. Can we have a real oh, 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 conversation, Mike? I'm finna give you a bomb. I'm finna give you a bomb. I'm finna give you a bomb. It's a new nigga. Oh, my. It's a new nigga named Cut'em Reese. I think his name is Cut'em Reese. What up, sir? Can we have a conversation, me and you, please? Hold on, he ain't let, him, let him drop, let him get through saying what he's saying, man. Bro, I know, cut him. What he finna say? Okay, you know everybody else don't know. I'm going through turbulence trying to land safely, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you that if a nigga giving you 50 bands to clear a song you did 20 years ago, what do you mean, for real? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? We get about three, four clearances a year, dog. while they just did it. Uh, young, young Reese, uh, well, three, four different niggas always want to re-clear the song. Back then, coming next. So all I got to do is just sit back and clear the shit. That's the shit y'all don't see. See, everybody's so used to a nigga being on stage tap dancing all the time. If you don't see a nigga on, in your face tap dancing and flexing money so he can be a target and he ain't shit. But see, I'm, I'm out the way. I fall back. I keep going to play lame. I don't care about all that. I don't got to do all that. All right, look. All right, look. All right, look. Right. Let's, let's. <laughs> Can we have a conversation, Mike? 
Only if we speak in facts, though. Only if we're going to speak of, facts. Of course. Be a of course. Bro, first, don't bro, bring bro, up bro, Money bro. Train Love's name. That's what you uh, got. Yeah, I'm hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. First of all, you and I have a conversation with your man, bro. Out of respect, Bubba. Really Hold on, Bubba. Listen, out of respect, you need to apologize to that man if you're going to have a conversation with him, bro. Yeah. Be a man about this. You need to apologize. All right, all right. I thought That's I, I, I thought make my point. I apologize to my baby. Why you can't apologize to him first, bro, before you make your point? Yeah, right, I don't apologize, bro. Lord said, be a man in this shit. Oh, man. Listen here, bro. Stay ten if, toes if on this your, shit. If, if I just went on Google, right, and I found out your net worth was six million dollars, right? That's right or wrong, right, Michael? Nigga, don't call. Well, why you I pack, don't, 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 don't? Hey, hold on, hold on, because this nigga being very disrespectful right now. I'm not going to say boo to this whole ass nigga. I got this bitch ass nigga on stage asking this whole ass Bro, you don't ask a nigga about his pocket. Say, man, fuck this nigga. Get this nigga out this room, because I'm going to go the fuck out on this bitch ass nigga. Because I got I got documentation to prove what you went in Google. See, you're going to go Google the real thing, nigga. I'm the real horse. So whatever you're going to ask, don't start and stop, start and stop. Say what you're going to say, and I'm going to hit your DM with proof, nigga. I'm going to hit your DM with Chase Bank of America statements that's going to add up that total. So when you see what I'm saying, you can quit thinking how you thinking, my nigga. Keep going. Man, that nigga burnt. That nigga. You hey, what you got somebody. coming next, right, man? Look, look, what you look, got look, coming next, look, man? Look, look, bro, because look, you trying to twist this shit up because everybody who's saying they understand the shit, y'all acting like y'all don't understand this shit. If his, if your net worth six million dollars, that's not even cold hard cash. Some of this shit is shit you own. If you only, if you owe these people eight million dollars, your ass somewhere, somewhere, you don't got two million dollars to give them, dumbass. Bro, bro, so bro, you telling me? Look, no, 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 look, no, no, so bro, you telling me? You going off of Google? Look, 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 you worry about the feds, bro. You are good. Look, 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 if you bro, give this look. nigga any information, believe this nigga work at McDonald's count got, another nigga pocket. Two, you, one just man, two, man, man. Hey, you just sold two point two million. Man, man. You just sold two point two million. You owe okay. you down basically you you could have just gave them two million, you would have been good. What so Google Why determine a nigga net worth. Every month you ain't just do that. You a new man. How you gonna believe And you could have ran that back up. Your ass a dummy. One man, one man, one man. Your ass broke. One man, one man. Bro, bro, lay in your point for calm your voice. pussy. I swear that nigga a pussy. Bro, how y'all trying to make up money for some shit he don't got? Hey, hey, one man. It's on paper he don't got it. My nigga, you just went to a made up reality and went and seen some shit you think you seen now. Nigga, the these oh, niggas really do, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, 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 these listen, niggas listen, reality listen, really listen, do listen, be the metaverse. Listen, these niggas really listen, think listen, that shit be listen, real. Listen, they think that shit be real. Hey, one mic on me. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. One mic on me, y'all. Hey, let him get off his issue because Mike gon' smash his ass like a roach in the project. Please, that's two point two million. What you saying with Chase? That's just one of my four pockets, bro. I got four five pockets, bro. I got Chase. That's two point two million. I'm finna show you another one point four five million with Wells Fargo. I'm finna show you another three point. Look, bro. Look, million. and you said F4. you. Hey, Bubba. Nigga, let the man talk. Bubba man. Let Mike Bubba talk, man. nigga. Ain't nobody on this stage to see your whack ass, nigga. Nah, hold on, man. Even one guy might let him land. Hold on, hold on, man. Nah, he keep cut, he keep cutting the man out, bro. Like like no, like like why he talking? I talk feel you, big homie. I feel you, big homie. But bro, let Mike land, bro. Come on, that's what I'm just saying. He keep, land, man. he keep cutting Mike Jones off every time the man talk, doing all that yeah, fucking yelling. Go, go ahead, go ahead, hey. And mute and shoot. This hey, big speaker talking, man. Mike, go on, land your point, bro. My PTR. So while you reading that two point two that I posted from the chase. April 29, 22, you got to also read the one I also PTR just now. So I got money in different situations, my nigga. It's the blurry, government Mike. froze it all. It's the blurry. government froze it all. The government it's blurry, froze it all. Mike. The PTR huh? blurry. Okay, I'll zoom in. Up. This one Man, this nigga talking about Mike. Please do. Please do. Because right. I ain't no Please motherfucking do. way, just because a nigga I ain't drinking. I don't even know why. Hold on. Man, is this IRS? 
This whole hoe ass nigga, nigga man. Y'all be counting niggas hey, pockets man. and shit, man. Y'all be counting yeah, niggas PTR. pockets, man. PTR. Niggas gotta PTR. stop this PTR, shit. PTR, bro. PTR. Now you can see it clear. The man that man right is in our probation. That his assets are That's broke. separate from the what chase, that nigga bro. Looking at? That is the six million he see. That six million belong to Mike. That they Dang. froze. He don't owe them shit. They froze the man asset. So let me tell you what they did, bro. Froze let me tell you what asset. they did. I made ten million dollars. I paid tax on the ten million, right? Not a problem. <laughs> but then Swisher made more money, and then threw that money on my taxes. So the government assumed I had that money. So since I didn't respond back to pay that other money that they thought I had, they froze all of my money. The three point seven that you're looking at from my account, Pauline. The two point two that I was just showing my brother April twenty ninth. I got one point four. I'm finna show you from Wells Fargo. I got money all over, nigga. What you talking about? I got money all over. The the government know I got money all over. The government know that I get paid four hundred thousand every year, nigga. Every year, nigga. Every year. Why you make your four ninety five at McDonald's? Every year, nigga. And they still. And they still. Okay, Mr. John, we see you been doing this. Okay, Mr. John, we see you been doing that. We're going to hold your $8 million on froze. We're going to let you get this 200000 that Tracy from Warner Brothers keeps sending you every year, nigga. You should be good with that while we get all the discrepancies out the way about your eight. And like I told my brother in the text message, my nigga, if you look at the one where I showed with the chase that said 10, 2.2 million, it's 10 accounts. Because they only insure you for 250, my nigga. 250 per account. So I had to spread the money out, nigga, like motherfucking peanut, peanut butter and jelly, nigga. So I had to spread it, nigga. 250 in one account, 250 in one account, 250, 250, 250, 250. That's why if you go back and look, I can post it again. It say bank accounts, it say 10, nigga. It say 10, nigga. 2.2, nigga. That's a whole separate thing that Pauline got. That's a whole separate thing that said Wells Fargo. Everything is sectioned off, but it don't matter because the government use the social security number, your social security, my social security number, to lock it all up. So yeah, it's locked up. So while I'm in IRS, IRS court, like I said, don't say cheese. If you go, I say cheese. I said the IRS is charging me 200000 a year. I'm having to pay them every year while they're still holding my $8 million. But they gracefully, by the grace of God, let me get this money from Warner because it's 400000 a year is way more than what the, what, what the world is paying you right now. Out of 400 million people in America, 90% is working nine to five. I don't know what percentage of y'all you fall up in that, but 90% is nine to five. So even though they gave me 400,000 a year, I'm pissed off because I'm supposed to be having way more of my shit. But my nigga, that eight million that they got, it's gonna come back. It's just chilling. It's almost like if they if, if they if they get your car, hey bro, you owe us five thousand dollars. We're gonna hold your car. Your car costs 30. Why you won't just sell the car and just give us the five? Nah, my nigga, we can't sell your car because we don't got the right to sell the car. We don't got the title, my nigga. We just gonna hold your car, my nigga, till you come back with our five. They holding my eight till I come back and get all this shit great. Some of y'all gonna understand that who intellectual there and whoever don't understand, I'm sorry. You're gonna catch it when you catch it. Hey Mike, you don't owe anybody explanation. Thank you. Why this nigga? Make, why you, this bro. nigga making five oh, seventy five, packing up groceries at men yards and want to talk shit? Bro, hey, but listen though, this this <laughs> the same nigga. This the same nigga who came on here. He PTR different cars, saying they his when a nigga <laughs> tell him they when a nigga tell him hey stand in front of the car and hold up three fingers. Then he can't do it. When a nigga, Ooh. he, he, he posting different houses in his PTR, claiming they his. When a nigga say, take a selfie in front of the house, he can't do it. So nigga, get about? on here, cat. Man, this nigga troll. Right. He ain't even got his kids around okay, 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 I've been okay, on that nigga okay. talk. Who he talking about? Oh, okay. that's, nah, the, nah, that's, that's the same nigga that be doing that same old shit. The love of that You said it right there, bro. The dude said something to Money Train because he feel everybody come on here trolling. Bro, everybody ain't trolling. You just trying to do something that they doing that you can't, my nigga. So you trying to build clout to put it on YouTube. Right. It's and that bigger shit ain't than cool, that, bro. Man. Yeah, man, yeah that's not that lady. Go that, find man. that dude, dude. Y'all keep missing it. That dude ain't tell that lady go find that dude and tell him come on here and put his bank statements up and shit. First of all, hey, but she ain't have to talk about somebody. Hey, but real talk. Hey, one mic, one mic, one mic. One mic on my, one mic on Big speaker, one my own big speaker. Wait a minute, I gotta say this. She didn't have to tell you to go get me, bro. You mentioned my name, you don't know me, fam. 
Why you mentioning that's my name? Fact. You don't know me. That's like me that's mentioning your fact. name and I don't know you. I don't know you. Hey, but real you, talk, bro, though. I don't know you. While we got Mike in the room, while we got Mike in the room, bro, I've I been listening to your shit for, for since I was a kid, my nigga. I want to ask you a few questions, man, yeah. off of that subject. Get on to some other shit. Speaker, hold on. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just saying this as a All respectable right. black man, bro. I don't look at me no bigger than you and you no bigger than me, bro. I, I ain't going to never mention your name, bro, because I don't know you. I ain't mentioning you know your name either, my name. Bro. Why you mentioning my name? Why you mentioning my name if you don't know me? I ain't mentioned it. I'm just, I'm just speaking meant, for the who mentioned my name. Hallelujah. Why the, 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 the nigga in the audience, man, bro. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Who mentioned my name? Like Beetlejuice. Bitch, you shut up my name like Beetlejuice. Hey, you gonna watch them bitches, bitches my nigga. That's what you gonna do. You gonna watch them bitches, my nigga. Hey, hey, y'all, fall back, fall back. Who mentioned my name, bro? Who mentioned my name? mama. He gone, Mike. The nigga gone, but I'm gonna say this, though. I was saying before you hopped on the call. Before you hopped on the call, and bro, I, I was saying that uh that, that I've been I've been listening to your music since I was a kid, man. And while we got you in the room, I want to ask you a few questions, man. Respect. Go ahead. I'm here. So uh first, man, I, man, like I said, y'all had a whole motherfucking movement in Texas, nigga. When I was in when I was in college and trying to freestyle and shit, I was trying to sound like y'all niggas. Like what made you originally get into music, bro? I mean, honestly, my, my peers, man, what I saw around me, man, she, it, it's like, why a person want to sell dope? Because they see everybody making money around them. See, I see everybody make, doing this shit for, on the cool. I was going to uh, Eisenhower, and uh, I was playing basketball at the time because, see, I was going from Nimitz to Ike, and I used to play varsity with Nimitz, but then I got transferred to another school, and then I got transferred back to all the independent school dishes, so it kind of fucked up me being able to play ball because of UIL rules. You feel what I'm saying? So I kind of got slumped from thinking that I was going to be a basketball star. So I was kind of fucked up for a minute. So I'm sitting there chilling. You know, I'm hustling. I'm doing my little thing. Everybody who be in my room know about the little hustle that I be saying that I, I came up on. But I seen, like, my nigga Slim Thug. I seen Lil Mario. I seen a lot of my niggas that was in Eisenhower because I used to go to Ike, and they was doing the music. And they was making money. I'm like, man, I can make money doing this shit. I started getting on TV. I started seeing my nigga Nelly, 314. Nah, nah, baby. Yo, speed in the rain, bro. I said, man, I can do this shit. I can do this shit, dog. Hell so yeah. I dropped out of school. I left school because school was moving too slow for me. And I'm glad that I did because they ain't doing nothing but institutionally institutionalizing your mind to either be a worker for somebody else. They're not building you up to be an entrepreneur. They're building you up to be a 50, 60 year worker for another motherfucker. That's what they building you. Oh, up. So Thanks, bro. I dropped out, and when I dropped out, I was like, damn, I just had to put it together. Like, I was cool with Slim. Them, I used to sell Slim like the little uh, flip phones and shit. As soon as they came out, I had a plug with the phones and shit. So I used to always hook Slim up with the phones, and me and Slim got cool. Everything was cool. It was to a point where I damn near was going to get down with Slim because Slim, Slim Thug invited me to. Uh, he had, uh, you know, Boss Hog Outlaws, and he had this mixtape he was doing, and he wanted me to get on it. So I came over there with him. I jumped on the flows and shit, and I had my partner at the time. His name was Charisma, and he jumped on the song. And Ray Face, that slim brother, he was like, bro, nigga, we was going to fuck with you, my nigga, but that nigga Charisma was whack as fuck, bro. We, we, we decided not to even use the song. I said, yeah, that's cool. I ain't tripping, dog, because if you're going to use me, you got to use my nigga Charisma because I fuck with my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, you know? So they wind up not using the song. Fast forward four months later, Swisher House come to me. I'm inside Ice Cream Castle, Hall of Nights. They coming to me. Damn, John, we see you making this presence, making this noise. Won't you get on with the highs? I'm like, man, I really got Ice Age going on. I, I kind of got a little groove going because I had all the strippers dancing to my music and shit. You know what I'm saying? And they seen that. They knew that. But they wanted me to get down with them because at this time, I guess, Slim already left Swisher House and was kind of doing Boss Hog. He was kind of newly stepping out as a CEO, like, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't really understand all of what was going on at that time. I'm just knowing him from high school. You feel what I'm saying? When I used to see him rapping and shit with Lamario. Yeah, so yeah. I was telling him, I was like, damn, bro. I said, so nigga, I, say, I see that music shit doing good. He's like, yeah, yeah, bro, nigga, I'm making this, this, and this, 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 and this. I said, nigga, I'm going to take this shit serious, bro. It's going to go, nigga. He's like, yeah, yeah, nigga, do your thing. Four months later, he look up. He like, nigga, that's you, nigga. Nigga, that's you. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, nigga. I told y'all I wasn't gonna play no game, nigga. I said, turn up on this shit. Next thing you know, who might John? Who might John? I'm known everywhere. It's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? And 
we really start really seeing each other and really start connecting because he always knew about the who Mike Jones and the name, but he just never connected it that it was me, the same one from high school that used to sell on the phone. You feel me? Yeah, bro, that's crazy. I heard you I heard you mention uh, you know, Slim Thug and, and, and Nelly. Man, who was some of your inspirations when when you first got into Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, of course Jay Z, because Jay Z is like the epitome as far as like step one to like like that. But like I really rock with Nelly, bro, because the way he did it, bro, was unorthodox. Like you couldn't have told me that he was gonna come out and do 10 million because it was unorthodox. It wasn't going the way that the hip hop structure template was at that time. You follow me where I'm going? Yeah, I feel you. It's just like Drake right now. Drake right now, you would have never thought when he first got with your mother that he was going to be where he at today. Breaking, that was Nelly's first album. See, Drake had time to keep dropping and keep dropping and keep dropping. Nelly did that shit first album, fam. 10 million out the gate. Out yeah. the gate, dog. Yeah. What's about one time? One time? Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, was, that, that was some shit so, like 50, my nigga. So, look, I'm watching so, it as a fan and as a businessman. So, it's two sides. Hmm, I like how he did that. He was true to himself. He kept his St. Louis. That's my tattoo. I like that, dog. He repping the jersey. He keeping it him. When I do it, I'm going to keep it us. You understand where I'm going, bro? I'm trying to break you down from my thought process to what you finally saw on TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to keep it true to Texas. I'm not going to go and be a shim sham. You know a nigga, he might be from Delaware, but he act like he's from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that. Facts. I gotta let you know I'm straight out of Texas, my nigga. And I like how Nelly did it, repping straight out of St. Louis. I ain't even know about St. Louis like that. I, I did shows out there here and there, but I ain't know it was a real musical hip hop presence until Shout you out just to my home city. And, and, and right after you did that, here come Chingy. You start, you know, just like Houston, right after we did it, you start seeing all of them pop out, pop out, pop out, pop out. You see what I'm saying? So, you got to show yeah. that love for taking that risk and, and, and breaking that barrier. If you come out of New York, I ain't going to say it's easy, but you in the spot where all the labels at. It ain't, it ain't that hard. We got to go through hell and maneuver to get to, to these places to get it out and get it on. You see what I'm saying? Facts, man. I'm going to ask you this, too. So, par- so par- pardon me right quick, Big Man, if you don't mind, bro. Let me get a question there real quick. This big this big speaker, uh, Mike, what's going on with you, brother? What's the word with you, my boy? Man, everything's everything, man. I've been a fan of yours since the beginning, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, I've been, I, I've been waiting to hear more from you, man. So my question to you, bro, is uh, what you got uh up and coming, man? Uh, that's around the corner, man. So I can go ahead and cop that. Man, what's crazy? We finna drop something this year. It's called Guap Season, and I call it Guap Season because it's gonna be the year for all of us to get the guap and. I got a label finally. It's called Money Train, Money Train LLC. And I did my discovery in the game, and I realized that out of 100% of a brick, they only paying you 10% of the 100%, but you putting your life on the line the whole 100%. Am I making sense with that? Yeah, plenty. Definitely, bro. The only difference is, is that you are you are creating the brick from your mind, your thoughts. You're writing that shit on paper. It's called... I am Big Speaker, coming out April 15, 2021. And this is Big Speaker's famous thoughts, everything. You finna go run that brick, promote that brick, do in-stores for that brick, but you only getting 10% of that brick, Big Speaker? How would you feel knowing mm-hmm. that that's what you eventually signed, fam? Right. I feel cheated, of course, so. Now, see, me, I signed a 65% deal with my label, and my label got mad when my shit blew up. Because my own label was thinking that I wasn't going to blow. So they was talking all that shit. And I said, okay, if I blow, I want this percentage. If I don't blow, I will stop rapping. I won't ever drop again. You follow me? God is good. You ain't going to blow. You ain't going to blow. I said, well, put it on paper. Well, put it on paper. That's why if you go back and watch the Flossin' video, the Flossin' video was the only one that was kind of half-ass shot because when it was right there getting about to me going platinum. Everybody started getting mad because Mike Jones was about to hit that platinum mark. So they start trying to interrupt my video shoot, start trying to do all type of bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Y'all can't yeah. forget the way Mike used to promote himself on them tapes, bro. 
their first round draft pick coming. The way that he used his name and his music for people to know who he was. Bro, I didn't even see your face. I heard your music years before I seen your face. The first time I seen your face was on this uh still tipping video. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Still can't Hey look, we, hey. we can't forget we can't forget the movie. I seen the movie. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, bro, ahead of his time. And y'all got to yeah. realize these niggas that was in here talking about him, 10, 15 years from now, they're going to they gonna do money bag yo the same way. Everybody that's, you know. Way. Yeah, we passed that though, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to pick his brain while I got him in here too. Nah, that's a fact. Go ahead with you. Go ahead Continue with you. With my questions, man. Everybody shared the room too. Share yeah, room. share the room, man. We got, we got a legend in the Lame. building, bro. And, I'll so I'm gonna say this too. To know what we know. I'm, a, I'm, a, I want to ask you this too, man. You got some, uh, you done work with some, some, some dope ass artists, man. You got T Pain, you got Big Mo, Bun B, Snoop Dogg, you know, Slim Thug, Power Wild, Millionaire. Who, who mm -hmm. was some of your favorite artists to work with? Now watch this. Now watch this, Big Spring. Check this out. Slick, you there? The slick though. Oh, he left. Yeah. Slick, you there? I think Slick probably doing something. I was going to add, I was going to have Slick tell you who I, because in my room, I play all that exclusive shit that you never heard. So, Filthy heard some exclusive shit that you never heard. Slick heard some shit that you never heard. Money Train Love heard some shit that you never heard. I got over 400 songs never released. Then I'm going to start dropping 10 at a time. And why I waited was because I wanted to show y'all that it's just like you. If you went and did a job and you working 40 hours a week and they told you they're going to pay you $20 an hour and then you get the check and they pay you $7 an hour, are you going to keep going to work there? Hell no. Hell no. Me either, <laughs> nigga. I don't care about being on stage tap dancing for y'all. Man, I ain't seen Mike Jones in a long time. Where that nigga at? Man, that nigga fell off. I don't care. They had an agreement on paper. Y'all said y'all was going to pay me. I sold 3 million records times 10. That's $30 million. I get 65% of that $30 million. Well, you know, we don't normally pay out that rate. I don't give a damn what y'all normally don't pay out. My contract say this. So this is what I'm going to get. I'm not jumping back on stage again until I get this percentage. It took six years for them to finally pay me my proper percentage, my nigga. So that's why I was gone. So I stood up for us, even though you don't know I did that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why they came up with the 360 deals. Because, Bro. you know, we can't we can't let that happen, what happened with Mike Jones. We got to make sure we get these next artists. We're going to get the shows. We're going to get their hoes. We're going to get their clothes. Bro, I watched, Yo, the, Mike, I watched the interview boy. that you did. I watched the interview that you did. Man, I probably watched it, I don't know, probably about six months ago. I don't know how long ago you did. You talking interview. about you talking about you talking about street fame forever. I know what you're yep, talking about. When you broke all that shit down, bro, I was like, damn, bro. And niggas really <laughs> don't know. Niggas really don't know the sacrifices that you made to, for these niggas to be able to get that money. Like niggas don't know that shit. Man. And see, I got a new song. I was just letting them hear the other day. We live a life, we pay the price, yeah, because it's part of the sacrifice. It's some new shit I'm working on that I'm gonna let y'all hear when it's about that time, but it's a lot of shit that go on that people don't really see or understand. And I'm cool with that because my bigger mission is for y'all to eventually understand. It's just like when I made back then. Didn't nobody understand why I made back then. Swish House hated back then. They took me, I was in front of Leo Cohen. Y'all know who that is. Y'all heard that name ring bells in hip hop. They told this man in front of my face, in front of T Ferris' face, the one who was making the stallion now. They told my manager at the time, he was my manager before Paul, before Megan. He told this man, man, you know, he might want to run with back then, but that ain't the one we want to run with. We want to run with Screw That. I said, Screw That? Screw That is cool, but back then is the message. Screw That is cool. That shit, back an then is the message. That's an anthem, bro. You know, man, you know, Mike, he going to do what he want to do. He go around, he recording all with different type of people. And those different type of people is Sali, the same nigga that made Steel Tipping back then. And all of the musicalness that y'all love to fucking day. You feel me? Why the fuck I'm going through slack with my own record label about me being creative? That's the shit that y'all never knew about. I didn't go out there for clout. I didn't go out there for fame and do all this 10, 15, 17 years ago. No. I took it up the chin and kept moving because my bigger mission was to deal with Warner and paying me the 65%. I couldn't come back and tell y'all about the fuck shit that was going on here or the fuck shit that was going on here. The documentary going to come out. It's going to break it down. 
that that street fighting forever that was just for me to give y'all a ski taste of, of a visual way of how it is because i want you to look at it i look at y'all as smart like me i don't care if you've never seen a million dollars before i i look at it like you seen a million dollars before so i'm gonna talk to you like you had a million dollars like you got if y'all ain't never so seen that I, interview man y'all need to go peek that joint y'all need to go watch that interview for real hey let me say this bro that back then they didn't want me. Uh, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. That quote right there is going to live on this earth for the rest of everybody. Like, that shit here for eternity, bro. Nigga, I, I done heard old heads say that shit. Everybody, bro, as soon as you come up, it's just like Jesus. You say, I had nothing. But now I got a whole lot of everything. Man, mm-hmm. if you can't relate to that shit, you ain't human, bro. I'm going to ask you, yeah. uh, I'm gonna ask you this question too, bro. With... The, the culture, like, y'all niggas put Houston culture on the map with the candy paint and the swangles and the bangles and the lean. And mm-hmm. then you got a whole you got a whole uh, generation of young people that don't even know where that shit came from. What, what you think about that? I mean, I love it, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that it passed on because we knew we was going to grow out of it, but it's new in other places. So when I go somewhere and I see a person with them swingers poking out, I'll be like, man, it really came out here. It really went somewhere. That just show you the power of your message, the power of your influence. Like more than money, man, money come and go. But your influence is going to be here forever, bro. So you got to always make sure that your message Shots. and your influence is what's going to be your billion dollar product. You know how niggas like, man, I got to find a product. Man, I got to get a car so I can Airbnb it. No, nah, nigga, you got to come up with a message come up with a purpose, and come up with a plan. And once you put all that in a motherfucking bubble, a virtual bubble, and then you put that bitch out, and niggas really start biting into that shit, damn, I'm fucking with that shit. And I like how old boy was just, man, you gonna live off that forever. You see what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Now, now, now Mike, being from Houston, right, what made you not um sign, what, what, what made you not go to Jay Prince and sign with Jay Prince or do business with Jay Prince in the music and keep your music going? Because my deal that I had with Swisher was way greater. I'm getting 65%. Yo, Mike, I got a question on that. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold, hold the questions to the end. I'm I'm, I'm working with him. Yeah, I'm going to give them up in a minute, man. I'm, so just let me let me finish what I'm doing. I got you, man. Y'all can ask him anything y'all want. So let me hold on real quick. I right. Um, Mike, if, if uh-huh. you know, you got a lot of you got a y- lot of young dudes coming up in the game. I'm in Memphis right now. You got a lot of rappers coming out of Memphis at the moment. Like, what what advice would you give some of these young rappers that's that's coming out the industry right now? And I'm I'm, I'm gonna tell you this so you can ebonically get what I'm trying to tell you because this here can help you go far, right? If you knew a nigga on the south side of Memphis, right, 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 yeah, so I'm just talking to yeah, you, my boy. Right? You know a nigga on the south side, and then you also know a nigga on the north side. Now I know it's gonna sound controversial because like we just went through an hour ago on this on this broom. You go through turbulence, bro, but the goal is for a smooth landing. You feel me? So if you, and I'm just speaking as you, because you're important in this too, if you was to facilitate and was to get somebody that you know that's cold from the north, somebody that you know that's cold from the south. And you was to somehow get them together to a do a song like how Gucci Man and Jesus. So I said, "Hey y'all, we gotta do a song for Memphis, man. This is Memphis, man. See, see what I just told you? Like the whole goal is Memphis. Fuck the record, but this is just a representation of both sides. This help us connect the whole city. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Once that record is done, your foundation is starting. Fuck the record. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck the record. Thanks. Because 20 years from now, we're going to talk about, wow, how the fuck with all that going on in Memphis like that, north and south, how the fuck did the north side and the south? Man, I ain't going to lie, man. What's your name, my nigga? My name Big Memphis, bro. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. Shit, it took Big, 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 big Memphis. Yeah, it's a big Memphis, man. He went over there, got a nigga from the now. He said, fuck this shit. It's time that Memphis stand up. It's our time. Oh, we, got wow. the pool out here. we got John Moran putting 40, 50 up, coming in. He turning up now. First, I was kind of scared, but now I like what I'm seeing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's man. a perfect time for you to add on to all that, bro. We never seen no yeah. come together on the song. Yeah, man, this man, this man, man. Man. It, it got a 
that got to overlook the bullshit, even though we know the bullshit ain't going to never go away. But we got to temporarily overlook the bullshit to look at the bigger picture to put this song together. We're going to call that shit Memphis. Nah, man, that's too close. Like, what you mean? Memphis, well, we're going to call it whatever. But when they hear the line up on the song, how the fuck these two niggas get on the song? Bro, oh, you got fuck, a different kind of mind, bro. I like that man. shit. Man, come on, I stay with this mind. That's what niggas don't understand. That's why I could have went left on buddy on the phone an hour ago. I ain't trying to go there. I'm trying to get you to understand. What's the definition? You feel me? I'm so, hey, trying to educate us. I'm going to ask you. So, hey, Mike. Uh, let me ask oh, you this. Pardon me, Pardon me, Let me get one more in, if you don't mind, brother. Bro, I'm going to open up questions at the end for, man, for everybody. This big speaker, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, feet, go ahead, bro. All right, this question I got for you, Mike, uh, that, that last question was kind of like, uh, it kind of surpassed my question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Uh, it's a it's a two part. So the first part of it is, uh, did you come up with the most straight from the beginning on, on uh, you know, when you first came out? And if you did, how did you come up with that marketing strategy, you know, with giving out your phone number and things like that? Yeah, yeah I came out with the marketing yeah, strategy. I came, I came up with it from the cuff. Like, really, it was my grandma because I used to go places like flyers and all and try to get my shit promoted and niggas throw my shit on the ground. And I was trying to, you know, I was I tried to do just like everybody else. I understand. So I had to think out the box. I went to my grandma one day, pissed off, complaining like, damn, man, fuck, man. I don't know why these niggas ain't hear me. And she was like, man, you got to do something ain't nobody else doing. You got to be accessible to the people. You got to do something ain't nobody else doing. You got to give out your phone number. Them cars ain't working. I'm like, man, I ain't finna give out my phone number. You tripping, nigga. Next thing you know, I start giving out my phone number. It was the best thing ever. If you listen to Grandma on my first album, I explained it all. I explained it all. I said it really came from her, but it took me to run with the game. You know what I'm saying? We all need some game. Right. Facts, bro. So, um... I feel like I'm a. I feel like man, shit. Two hundred years from now, if a motherfucker say Mike Jones, somebody somewhere gonna say who? If if you could if you could pick one song for them niggas two hundred years from now to know who Mike Jones is, what would that song be? For sure, it's gonna be back then. That's the best representation of me, like heart, body, and soul. You know what I'm saying? Because. It's not just about how I feel. It's about how everybody feels. When you're trying to get to the top and that person you thinking that's with you ain't with you, and then when you get to the top, they're expecting you to be with them. And you're like, hell no. You're going to play that song. You're going to go back to that song. I did that song in 2005, and then 12 years later, I hear Chief Keith saying, I see what I see what Mike John was talking about. What you mean? Why you think he said that? Because he get up in this motherfucking game, and he now see, oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the one that's going to tell you. I'm the one that's going to put it out there. So I'm always fist and stone as the one that just put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, how, long you, how long you were saying who Mike John before it popped up? Man, I said that shit since I first started. I play shit right now while I was saying who Mike John. Nigga, go back to them old Swisher House tapes. Nigga, I'm who Mike John, who Mike John, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Hey, that's a fact. I, I that's a fact. If you can put years out. together, if you can put the years together, how long you think you were saying before it popped off? Nigga, 2002, nigga. I've been doing it since I first started. Well, I say I'm 33, so he probably been saying that shit, bro, since I probably was like 12. Now, 30. what he asking is, shit. what he asking is, you know, we all know the slogan now. What he's saying is, how long was you were you saying it before it became a household name, like a household thing? I was everybody saying said. the Who My Jones since the beginning of my rap career. That's what I'm okay. trying to tell you. Yeah. Uh, Dick don't fail me watch, now. Oh, I was now on Dick don't fail me now. When I saying Who My Jones? On my soul, you was gang. Facts, I was 12 years old, 12, 13 years old. I'm 33 now. I'm 33 yeah, yeah. now. You feel me? See, this this is why I love history, bro. Because before the fame, Big Don't Fear Me Now came out in 03. I'm my John. Who? What year that come out? What year that come out? 2003. Balling on the ground. On my soul, bro. I was I, I went to high school in Big 2003. I was 14 now. years old. Nigga, I was in uh. When I was in college, I, I played with a bunch of niggas from Texas, nigga. And that's all they played was was Swisher House. That's all they played. Got to turn show. Swisher yeah. House was on top at that time. Is uh speaking For of sure. Swisher House, is Swisher House still a label? They are, but it's not functioning. 
they ain't got nothing moving. You know, it's probably moving out the classic, out the hype, off the, but ain't nothing been resurged yet. They still trying to get that going. Oh my! Yeah, now I'm uh I'm gonna go ahead and I, I guess open it up for everybody. I wasn't trying to debo the nigga nothing like that, y'all. But you know when 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 you got somebody conducting the interview like on stage or something like I ain't even talking about on Clubhouse on a regular stage. You got people in the audience and they can't just interrupt the interview. You know what I mean? So I wasn't trying to debo the nigga nothing like that. I was just trying to hold hold some semi professional. But y'all go ahead and hit him with anything y'all want. You do, Yo, man. Mike, I got a I got a question. Talk to me. Now, when you was referencing when you got 65%, is there like a clause for that for like any upcoming artists? Like, you know how like most labels, they think, like you said earlier, how the label ain't think he was going to pop, but you believe in yourself to get that 65%. Is there like a, pati- a particular clause for that? Nah, what you mean? I ain't, nah, nah, ain't no clause for what you mean. For one, that deal never was done before. Copy, copy. Okay, okay. That's why they came up with the 360 deal because that deal fucked them up. I sold three million out the gate, thirty million dollars. They owe me twenty four. They only gave me six. Do you understand why I'm pissed off? Nah, I'm, <laughs> hell yeah, big bro. Hell yeah, I'll be pissed off. So, too. so this this nigga on the phone telling me about how I got six million. It's only two. The label still owe me eighteen more. You understand what I'm saying? Damn, bro. Shit, I pray now, you get your... And, and, and now they're paying me the 65% since 2010 all the way through, but I'm on their ass to make them pay me the 65% from 05 to 09. That's the fight that I'm on that y'all don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I got money. Sheesh. That ain't the problem. That ain't the problem. <laughs> That's not the problem. I don't even want the money that I got. I want the money that they owe me, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? As you should. Blessing to that, bit, bro. Definitely but blessing to that. in the meantime, I always try to give game to you and to everybody that's listening and that fuck with me. So when you come across money like this, big or smaller, whatever, you know how to handle it, maneuver it. You're aware with it. you prepare with it. Instead of just moving naively, and then they stick your ass six years later. Because the government going to wait six years. They, gonna, they, they patient. They some patient motherfuckers. Yeah, that's why I asked you that question, um, because I kind of knew that, you know, I've been a fan forever, gang. But I kind of knew that, right? So um, I didn't want to just get on hit on that about no money that they owed you. But um, I, that's why I was wondering, like, how come he never went to Jay Prince, bro, and got that shit solved? At least, you know what I mean, at least, at least, uh, just kept the music going, or at least went and distributed his old music, got his masters back. Why he didn't go to Jay Prince? Because I was trying to show y'all, for one, that it's bigger than just me running to somebody to put a Band-Aid on it. I want y'all to see that I stood up and was sacrificing. I don't care about the fame. It's almost like Drake, right? You got Drake, right? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, oh you know we ready, guys. Uh-oh. So, boom. Successful the first album. He realizes he's in a 10% situation. Me, personally, I wouldn't have did no more music until you hoes would have respected me and gave me my percentage that was on that motherfucking paper. You see what I'm saying? But some people gonna still go to work knowing that they ain't pay you what they said they were gonna pay you on the paycheck slip. See what I'm saying? Right. Consistently, consistently, consistently. What was the reason? Not to fall off, goddamn. Huh? A nigga probably didn't want to fall off. You know what I'm saying? He'd have so, seen so, so many so, niggas so, fall so, like that. So, so, okay, so look, so if you're working at Walmart and they say they're going to pay you $50 an hour, you work there 50 hours the first, 40 hours the first week, 40 hours the second week, you get the check, they paying you $7 an hour. you still going back to work there, right? Because you don't want everybody else to see or feel like you fell off, right? From the Walmart area, right? And you still praying that they give you that fifty? They they make up for what? So 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 you. Not on no wall, my shit, but I'm gonna nah, keep nah, going. Nah, 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 nah. We talking about peers because if Walmart no, do it to you, Warner Brothers gonna do it to you. You understand where I'm going? But it ends up being on you love what you're doing, though. If you love what you're doing, nah. you ain't really doing it for no check on this on this situation. No, I'm just gonna keep it out of the way, funky. But Walmart, nigga, this money involved. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so 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 let's do this. Let's do this. Your first album make twenty million dollars. You don't make nothing. It's ten percent of of that for you is two million. But remember, we gave you that advance, so you don't get nothing. And remember, you old, cause we paid for your flights and your hotels and your travel. So really, you in the negative. So now you gotta go on tour, 
to make up for the money that it looked like you got because the album say that you got it. But really the album work it went to your label. That turned what and you love that turned what you love to, to a job. To a fucking job that you fucking hate like why yeah. Like? yeah. I feel and you on this shit. Now you on the road making twenty million. You gotta get twenty five percent to Birdman. You like Birdman, why you trying to get twenty five percent? You already getting eighty percent of my show money. Nigga, that's the contract, nigga. Read it and weep it, nigga. I get eighty percent from the album, nigga, and I get twenty five percent from your shows, nigga. Man, it's fucked up. Man, I don't even wanna do shows no more. Meanwhile, you like, hell nah, nigga, get your ass back out there. Stay on that goddamn road, nigga. Be the best slave you can be. Is that what you're telling me? You telling me that Walmart is different from this? <laughs> hey, let me find out that was going on for real. You trying to hey, me Absolutely what's going on. That's yeah, what's that's going what's on out here. Speaking facts. what I'm telling you. And I, I respect you. I respect you, Mike, from being your own man and uh, not going to J Prince, gang. Now oh, that you explain hey. that, I respect res- Hell yeah, we appreciate you, bro. That's what I'm saying. I ain't want to do no shit like that, bro. Because see, here go the inside kicker, dog. What I didn't know, but what I had to find out later was that I think Swisher was already doing some stuff with, with, with the boss man. I ain't know nothing about that. You see what I'm saying? But see, I don't know. I don't think that the boss man knew about me having my 65% over here. But everybody found out later in 2010 when I finally started getting the 65%. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's when my body wanted you to come back and rap again. You was like, ah, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Keep paying me on my. Where <laughs> Mike? Where Mike? Hey, check this Mike. out. I, I, hold on. I felt the same way you felt when you didn't want to go back to Walmart because that check wasn't what <laughs> you was, right? So it is the same, right? Right. Damn. Yeah. Shit. Shit. I don't care what company we is, nigga. I could be working for Bill Gates, nigga. You telling me you give me this amount per year. I do the first year, it's half of what I'm getting, bro. You lied to me, bro. I don't care how much money you got, bro. Your integrity is more important than the money. You might have did some scheming to get the money, bro. But you told me out your mouth that God gave you the breed and told me you was going to give me this salary. I can't depend on that, bro. Huh? I'm supposed to still stay there year after year after year after year after year? Knowingly? Knowing that you taking ninety percent of my hundred percent, and I'm coming up with all the creation, I'm sorry, I could not do it. <laughs> so they they straight up told you they were gonna give you your money. They just debold you like that. They straight up told you they were gonna give you. Well, what happened money. was I had it on paper, and they thought that I signed the ten percent deal like everybody else. So they was keeping it, keeping it, keeping it. And then by two thousand eight, two thousand nine, I was able to show proof that I really had the paperwork in my favor. Then everything had to get right, and then they started paying me right, but they still didn't pay me right for the golden years. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we still going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on. You see what I'm saying? They're basically trying to make you sell it at this point. I ain't no selling. I already know the gold number. I'm trying to get to the Super Bowl. Damn I'm trying to right. get to the finals. I'm trying to do like Jordan. I don't want no consolation, baby. And we there. Yeah, ain't no Mike, selling. He want, he want his shit all the way. I, mean, I respect the shit out of you. I For respect sure. the shit out of you, Mike. No, I appreciate y'all, man. Respect, because I want y'all to see it. And once y'all see it, y'all know what it's supposed to be. Ain't no game on us, though. Huh? In clothes, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know how you in the matrix, big speaker. Yeah, you going in and out. Respect, big speaker. So I want y'all to see something. I'm finna, I'm finna put a post up. Oh, my motherfucking. <laughs> hold on, this for my motherfucking lawyer, bro. Hold on. Hey, I'm gonna ask you this, bro. The way you think, wait, wait, man, wait, you no, got wait, a wait. different kind of mind, bro. Like, where you get that from? Who would, who would you contribute that to? Like the way you think. Life, me understanding how. Fuck CEOs do they artists and me thinking that it was on some love player player shit, but now I'm realizing it's some straight new modern age slave shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, bro? Like, bro, just listening to this shit is crazy, bro. Like, and then going back to that interview, just kind of hearing you speak, bro. The way you think is just it's just on another level, man. I fuck with it. Big speaker, you ain't you. Say that again, bro. Phone call. Y'all already know what's going on. Oh man, energy guy and global jacks, man. You might be speaking. Big Miffy, man. You already know what's going on, man. We do 
shit another type of way. Uh, Stan, understand G Jack. Shattered. Right. We, we want to appreciate that brother Stan today too, man, for bringing uh such opportunity to the to to the uh club, man. You know what I'm saying? Energy gang over, man. Share the room like Money Train said. Uh, tap that greenhouse again. Share the room, man. Follow all the moderators and and everybody that's on stage, man. Appreciate you we staying. The, we the biggest, man. We the biggest. On to my salute, Big to Memphis. Game play, bang, money train, gang. Oh man. Period. Thanks, man. I fuck with y'all, man. The long way. Shout out to Wag and Mike Jones for coming through, showing the stage love. Hey, this how you make it out This this how you make it out of something. This how you take fuck niggas bullshit and turn it into real shit. You know what I'm saying? Salute you, baby girl. Period. Man, it really just Shout all out to the big nigga who was talking that shit. So I had to bring my big boss in. <laughs> Yeah, shut the shit down, you know what I'm saying? Shut what you talking about? What up, bro? What'd you say, yeah, all yeah, Mike? It all just come from like being intelligent and independent, going through a struggle and really wanting something. Like I can speak from my perspective because I dealt with a guy that's like Mike Jones. Like me and AJ got a relationship on here. That's that's a little flip publicist. Flip would be on here soon to do an interview. You know what I'm saying? Flip took me on this wing when I was like 18, 19 years old. I was still living in the hood, you know. Uh, I, I was living by the cold, but I didn't want it. I, that ain't what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I was talented than a motherfucker. But it's it's just, you will learn a lot of things on your own, like he said, by experiences in life. And it's like what you want, your independent drive. And he's so creative because he's himself. When And what I mean by that is you, a thinking man, is a smart man, a man is like like Malcolm when he put his when he put his finger to his to his uh to his temple and his pictures. You know what I'm saying? Like Mike probably think of a million different things every day. And he also look out for his people. That's why he got people in here, you know, with the pictures that's gonna support them. They all in the money train, things of that nature. You see people start leaving the room when he starts speaking education because they would rather go to controversy than to learn some shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how it go. But I swear, bro, like I'm listening to everything that he's saying and I can vouch for that because it's the same shit that Flip gave to me. It's like these, these pointers, what he's giving you, and I hear what you're saying, what you're asking him because you're going to use that. That's what we got to do every day. And he humble. You know what I'm saying? That's what people don't realize about folks from Texas, bro. I done been all over the U.S. and I have never been to a place like I love Tennessee. We from there. But I have never been to a place that gave out more hospitality than Houston, Texas, bro. And that's real. Man, that nigga, the weight, like the, the the shit he's saying, like I'm looking at the the thought behind it. You know what I mean? Like for him that had the type of brain to come up with that type of shit, like the and then go like I I, I want y'all to really go see that interview that I'm talking about. Like the shit, it's a long ass interview, and he really break everything down in that motherfucker. Right? Do you remember who it was with? Find out who it was uh, with real quick. He said he said it. Who was that? Who was that interview with, Mike? What happened? My bad. The interview that uh that you did, the one I'm, that I brought up earlier. Who was that interview with? Uh, Street Fame Forever. Yeah, bro, that's a cold ass interview, man. I watched that shit. I was like, God damn, that shit blew me away. He really break everything down on a whole nother level in that motherfucking interview. And it's just once you look at it and understand it, you can put that in every business of life. That's how the structure is set up. That's how they got it set. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's facts, it's man. I, I played uh, I played ball with a lot of niggas from Texas, man. And before, like before the 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 shit blew, that's all them niggas was listening to was y'all. So we we in the dorm room blasting that swisher house shit and mm. trying to freestyle at the same time like that y'all like don't get me wrong freestyling was was a thing but y'all made freestyling man like a fucking trend you know what i'm saying like that shit became a man if you wasn't freestyling nigga you weren't doing shit with, with swisher yeah. house that shit was crazy because see we was doing we was doing so much of it we, we we did it so much it was damn near like an art. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Bro. It really, you feel me? I remember all that shit. It's the boiler running out of swing out of swamp. 
I done came through. And like, that shit was so hard, man. Man, boy, I'm telling you, I was at Damn right. I was at man. the club one night. I remember that. Hey, look out, Mike. You ain't, you ain't got nothing in the works. Though, with Tom, 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 or Fat B. You say it again? You ain't got nothing in the works with Tom, Tom, or Fat B. You know what's crazy? Like, I just seen uh, Tom, Tom, not even six months ago, but. Me and Tuck is trying to put something together too, though. Yeah. Big Tuck. But, you know, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Fuck I know. With all of them. I, fuck nah, with I know. I, you know, Fat B, Fat B, my bro. Okay, here yeah, yeah. Fat B, let's get it. For sure. That's my nigga, for sure. Oh, I say, you look, when we did that, uh, 